Today we're looking at a Bluetooth speaker from UFashion 3C. This is their first Bluetooth speaker that they have sent me and I'm gonna be taking a look at it and see how good of a job they've done. So inside the box we get here, we got us a manual. Which you can take a look at. Speaker itself, which looks pretty good. It says NFC on the back. I don't know if it officially has NFC. Um, we're taking a look at that, see if it does. And charging cable and a carabiner and I do like the packaging here this is actually a nice box it's got a little magnetic latch here Let's take a look at that it's pretty neat I uh, will set that to the side though because that's not the main attraction main attraction here is this speaker we'll put our little carabiner on this keychain here and it's it's light it's not so light that it feels cheap but it's not going to weigh you down or anything, and you can just, you can clip this to anywhere. I'm going to see, here, let's, uh, look at that. Probably not the best idea. Okay, so we're not really going to look at the instruction manual because this looks pretty self-explanatory because on the side here, you can see that we have a power button, a call button. Under this little flap, there's our micro USB charging port, which is nice because micro USB cables are very, very common now. And this is actually, I'm gonna say this is pretty difficult to push this flap back in. I don't know if I can. And then you also have your play, pause, and your volume buttons. And these buttons are hard to press, which is good. They're not gonna accidentally get pressed in your bag or anything, but, um, and they do, they do have a nice tactile response. A little mushy though, but I mean, it's an inexpensive Bluetooth speaker. You're not going to be looking for something really high quality. Got it. Flap. All done. So it's a hexagon, which um, it's an interesting shape for a speaker. I, to say the least, I've never seen one. Let's see if we can get it to turn on if it came charged or not. All right, so you press and hold the power button to turn on. Right now it's flashing blue and green, which means that it is waiting for pairing. So we're going to go into our phone here. Pull up our Bluetooth settings. And let's see what it's called. So you're going to go into your phone's Bluetooth settings and you're going to connect to ZS100. Pair up with that and. There it is. We're paired. Just a little beep, no uh, voice or anything. So now we're going to try and play some music, see how loud this can get. And I'm wondering. So these are independent volume control buttons on the speaker, meaning. It adjusts the speaker volume, but it doesn't do anything with your phone, at least on Android. I um, can't say anything about Apple. So already I can tell you the sound quality on this is pretty good, to say the least. Uh, let's see how loud we can get it. So that's pretty loud. I don't even know if you can hear me, but that's, that is definitely some fair volume. Um, bass is definitely there. I can, my whole table is shaking here. That is definitely kicking with the bass now, all the way up.
All right, so that is not your ears playing tricks on you. Um, the bass on this is a little bit muddy, and at the highest volume, you get a little bit of distortion in the audio. But other than that, I have to say I am extremely impressed with the sound quality of the speaker. I was not expecting something from this this size. All right, so I would not recommend using this at the highest volume because um, I can actually I hear the speaker damaging itself when we crank it all the way up. If you really, really need to get that um, volume out of it, then don't expect to be using this more than once. But it... Um, you know, it does a very good job at what it's supposed to do. It's lightweight. It's got a very unique design. You can just clip it on somewhere, clip it onto your backpack, take it with you wherever you're going. Then you have music. I'm going to give this a thumbs up. Um, I'm very impressed by the speaker. I was not expecting anything with this volume. Claims as 12-hour music playback. We'll be testing that, and I will update you later. Charge it. Get your micro USB, plug it into a USB port on your computer or wall adapter, and just put her in there. And there's no indication light. Oh, there is. It is very... Okay, that's really, really dim. I don't think that's going to show up on camera at all. In the corner um, where the LED lights are, there's a very, very, very subtle red light there. You really, you gotta look really close to see it. Um, so that means it's charging, and we'll see what happens when it's done charging and test how long it's gonna go for. All right, so I can say that I took this around with me all afternoon yesterday, and it was absolutely fantastic. I was showing it to some of my friends. Um, it gets quite loud, loud enough to, for um small party. People can still hear it, good music. And the battery did not die. It's still not dead. I've been playing it pretty much all day. I think I had it going for a solid eight hours, and it's still not dead at all. So you fashion 3C claims it can do 12 hours. I can't confirm that, but I can say that it'll at least do you eight, and that's enough for anyone.